All right, guys, we're back out here on the St. Joe River chasing after some catfish. So my goal this uh, last month is I really want to hook into a big flathead. And this is a section of river to do it. There's been some big flatheads pulled out of here. And uh, I'm working some new holes. I'm moving around trying to find out where uh, where I can hook up into one of these. So uh, today we're going to get after it again. we got a little special surprise today. Instead of running cut bluegill, which we'll be running, we'll also be running some uh, white bass. So we're going to try something a little different. That's a very oily, bloody fish. So I'm hoping that the scent attracts something new in here. Uh, so we'll put a couple pieces of that out and see what happens. So stay tuned and uh, wish me luck. Start this rod out. Cut bluegill head. Put that out there. Did not take long at all. Fresh bluegill head, I believe, on this one. size flathead. We're gonna put that five minutes into this. There we go boys. There we go. Look at that. Now you're five minutes into this trip. It's got 13, 14 pound flathead. See how good my eye is with the measurement and weight on this fish. That fish took the body section, which is surprising. The body section didn't do anything last weekend. All right. Look at that fish there. Yeah, that'll work. Let's get a board on him. What do we got here? This fish will go 28 and a half. Weighs 12.61 pounds. 12.61 pounds. There you go. All right. That'll work. Five minutes into the trip, our first flathead 12.61 pounds, 29 inches. Get it back in the water. Great bite. Great bite. There it goes. All right. Right off the bat. Love it. Let's get back in there and get after another one. Saved our bait, too. Some of you guys had asked for uh, what I'm looking for when I'm out on these rivers and I'm trying to set up for these catfish. So this is a great example right here of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to kind of show you with the camera here. If you look over here, 
the other side of this bank is a big deep river channel with a lot of current but then as you come across it's a flat that's about four or five foot deep and then where I'm set up right here as soon as it dropped from four feet to seven to eight feet I dropped my anchor because there's two things here that I like one it's a current seam where you can see the fast current is meeting the slower current there's still current here which I like I don't like completely slack water uh, but the other thing is it's also the edge of the river channel so there's two river channels here the main river channel and a secondary river channel and I'm set up right on a secondary river channel and when I drop my anchor I drop my anchor right on the ledge I think that's the key to finding these fish if you're off three or four feet and you're more in the middle of the channel as opposed to the ledge I find that you don't get any bites it's a little different animal but if you can get right on a current seam with two currents uh, one slower and one faster and then also the edge of the channel to me that is money for catfish so uh, hopefully that answers your question so I'm gonna set up here and uh, work this uh, current seam and see what happens and hopefully uh, I'm right and we get some hookups so stay tuned let's see what happens oh got a fish got a fish got him oh I think he came off once he's swimming at me Ah, he came off. No! Ah. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. I got him. I got him. Good job, babe. Oh, that's a bigger fish, too. Turn my camera off. Well, say hi, babe. You're officially on the video. see I haven't been out here let's see five minutes and 19 seconds and we've already got two hits on the rods uh, pretty good hits they just didn't hook up now what I'm paying attention to is one this is the key we got one bite in kind of slack water one bite on the seam but they're both body sections so here we go we just got one hooked up right here just hooked up there we go body section right here five minutes 40 seconds into the spot bigger fish so and then we got one hitting on the other line right now so we might double up here we'll see this fish has got a little shoulders to him five minutes into this section and that's the key guys you gotta get on these river channels and you gotta get on the uh, current scene and I tell you what this fish got some shoulders on him now he's got some shoulders on him a little bit of rolling might be a channel uh, but the digging is an indicator of a flathead so we'll see what we got here Let me get a good look at him right here hopefully it's a flathead because I don't have to net this thing I just reach down and lip him we'll see what we got he still isn't ready yet Man, I love this. Another body section. And we got a pretty big flathead. That's probably that's probably a 25 pound flathead we got. So hopefully we don't lose this fish. This is a pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. That's what we came here for. So let's see if he's ready yet. I don't think he's ready. I don't think he's ready yet. Give you guys a look at this fish here. Look at that. Look at that. Big old fat flathead. I probably
probably should net this. Well, let me try to lift this one in. right there that's what we came out here for that's what we came out here for <laughs> look at that <laughs> oh man what a stud what a stud fish well this is the biggest flathead I've got out here yet I'm gonna guesstimate that this fish is probably probably in the neighborhood of 25 pounds uh, we'll see here hook out. He's, he's in there. He wasn't coming unhooked. Got him. Body section again. Look at that fish. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get some measurements and weight on this fish. This fish will probably go... Fish is 30, 35 by stretch of tail. Look at the girth on this thing. Let's get a weight on him. This fish is 22.22 pounds. 22.22 pounds. I don't know if you can see that there. It's just a stud flathead. All right. Let's get this fish back. Oh man, what a stud. What an absolute stud flathead. That's what we were chasing. That's why I come to the stretch of the river right there. Right, let's get this fish. Good. He'll bite down on him when he's ready to go. Right now, you can see that fish just came off spawn. Look at the marks on top of his head. It's a post spawn. There he goes. There he goes. Look at that. Great release. Back there for somebody else to catch. Yeah, baby. That's good stuff. I want to show you guys something here. I don't know why you can see it on camera, but I just hooked that big flathead on this. And uh, if you're not rechecking your lines, I don't know why you can see this, but you can see the fray's right there. See this line's frayed up? You gotta recheck your lines, man. It takes five minutes, if that, to tie on a new leader. And uh, man, I hate for somebody to lose a nice big fish, fish of a lifetime out here because they didn't tie on a new leader. So take the five minutes, check your line, Retie it if it's got any phrase in it whatsoever. There are 50 pound fly head out here, and uh, you don't know when or where you're gonna hook into one, and uh, you don't need to be losing that fish because you didn't retie your leader because uh, that's just a bum deal. So take the time to retie your leader. That's all I gotta say about that. I, I got a fish on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, this is on the current too. We're hooked up right now. This happens sometimes, you hook up and they take you into a snag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just letting the boat float down the river here. And I'm going to try to get this fish off this snag for two reasons. One, uh, you don't know what kind of fish you have down there. It could be a really nice fish, but two, you owe it to the fish. Worst thing that happens is you lose the sinker leader end and that fish is still hooked up and uh, you lose that, that fish stays down there and dies because it's hooked up. So we're just gonna float down this river here, get on the backside of the snag and try to pull this fish out. I tried letting the fish swim off the snag, that didn't happen. So we might get lucky and uh, get on the backside of it. Still feel the fish down there. side of the snag and see if we can pull this out. If not, we're going to lose this fish, we're going to lose a rig, but... And there we go. Just like that, we got on the back side of this. And like I said, you don't know what kind of fish you got, and it's a bigger fish. It's a bigger fish. So we'll set this anchor down.
Let's see what we got. This fish is really pulling me nice. Boy, they're full of fight. Close spawn, you can see his body's all beat up. This is why you chase the fish down when you snag them. Two. I'll show you what I'm talking about with close spawn. Fish was hooked good right in the top jaw. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. <coughs> you can see what I'm talking about post spawn. Look at this fish's body. See his tail, his back end, its body, its head. I mean, this fish is just beat up all over because it's been living on its nest and they're just coming off the nest. So this is a male because a male stay on the nest and the females lay the eggs. We'll get a weight on them. This fish will probably go 25. Let's see what we got here. This fish is 33 inches long. Get a good look at them there. Weight is probably go 25. Let's see. Oh, surprisingly, 19 and a half. So you see right there, 19 and a half. So really nice flathead. Let me get a couple pictures of them and uh, we'll let this fish go. Let's go. Beautiful post spawn. He's on flathead. He's feeling it. There he goes. There he goes back down the bottom love it I was on a headpiece on the current so that'll work let's get back after it so we can get another one